Hello guys, my name's Nathan, welcome in, how are you doing? Uh, today I was going to be talking about the whole no music on Twitch and kind of what you can do before you go and delete audio clips. I don't want you doing that. I've got a few little things I want you to do first um, to kind of save your ass a little bit. So let's dive into it. So, I'm in the clip section of Twitch. If you want to know how to get there, we'll go back to the usual style um, home screen of Twitch, which you can, you get at. So in the top right corner, if you just click your profile picture and go to video producer, you'll get these little bits on the side here. These are your past broadcasts. You've got collections and you've got clips. And you have the choice of either clips that you've created or clips that have been of your channel. And obviously they're the ones that you want to look at. So clips of my channel, as you can see, I've already went through and downloaded slash deleted all of mine. And that's the part that I want you guys to do. Before you go straight away and delete all your videos, what I would say is those videos have probably been some amazing moments with friends, moments that you could potentially use to advertise your channel, moments that you could potentially use in your channel trailer, uh, and even if they've got sound, you the video alone might be enough to kind of warrant keeping. So what I do, um, or what I've already done, should I say, is I've went through and downloaded all my videos that I thought were worthy of keeping and meant something to me. So the way you do that, if you just click on the video and click this, click the title of the video, you'll come to this screen here. I'll let you watch this. Playing a bit of Sea of Thieves, I was this day. Outro. Hello. I think you need to go further right. <laughs> <laughs> Being a Captain Nath Viking causing mutiny. That's what was happening. So for instance, if that video had a little bit of music in, what Twitch is saying is I, I, couldn't, I couldn't use that. Even if I took the audio out of that video, you'd still be able to see kind of what happened. So you could potentially use that. Uh, obviously in this case, mine didn't have music. So, so I I'd, I'd definitely, definitely want to keep that video. Uh, and I'd obviously keep it up as well. Um, but let's say for instance, it didn't. To download that video guys, all we simply need to do is click that up there. I don't think a lot of people know that it's that easy to download the clips. So simply download the clip and what will happen, it'll download and it'll come up like this. You simply then have the clip to use however you like, uh, whether if you want to trim it a little bit, that could be an option as well. If you want to actually download the video and then turn the volume right down, just so that essentially you can't hear the sound. I know in a lot of people's streams, the music essentially is background music. So if you can turn it down to a level where the music disappears, but the volume of the game is still playing, then that's absolutely ideal. Uh, and you, uh, you could potentially save a lot of your clips doing that. So that's one thing that you should be doing is 100% downloading your clips. Next thing is obviously go through them all and find out which ones have music that you think I definitely need to get rid of. It's too loud to delete or it's not worthy of keeping. And the way you obviously do that is simply click the box and then instantly there is a bin mark there. You can simply click that and it'll say, would you like to delete this video? Yes or no? Simply click yes. If you have, if you've kind of went through and picked the ones that you know you want to keep and you found loads that you don't, if you've done it in that order, what you can do, hit that button and it'll select them all for you. Select them all, press delete, chatting, all gone. So next thing in terms of music that you can use, um, there's a couple of options that you can do. Um, so you can either potentially find a non-copyright playlist, playlist through YouTube, something like that. That could work absolutely fine. Uh, you can do what I've done, potentially search one through um, Spotify. The only thing I would say about the Spotify option is somebody essentially has made this playlist. Is it trustworthy enough to use? I'm not, I'm not too sure. Where if it's on YouTube and it's actually a royalty free one, chances are it's probably a little bit more likely to be royalty free. Um, or my favorite option to use. Um, I don't know if anyone follows this guy on YouTube or Twitch. He's an unbelievable streamer uh, and he kind of helps you in everything you need to know about streaming. He's called Harris Heller um, and he's made something called Stream Beats. And these tunes are like, they're not your kind of usual music you play on Twitch. Totally understand that. However, there is 150 songs worth, five hours and 12 minutes to be exact, of music that you can use royalty free Guaranteed. It's very chilled. It's very background music type. So if you are interested, obviously hit that playlist up. Fully available to use on any platform. Um, and it's available on all music, not just Spotify, any music platform as well. So that's another one you can go to. 
And that's going to be it. a really, really short, snappy kind of video just to kind of save, save your clips. Don't delete them if you don't need to. Uh, if you do need to delete them, but you want to keep them, download them, edit them best you can, clip out the music if possible. Um, and obviously, if there is something you need to get rid of, just get rid of it. Simple as that. Right, guys. Catch you in the next one.